It's the hoax case that's drawing comparisons to Jesse Smollett. Police are now said to be weighing criminal charges against Alabama woman Carly Russell after she admitted to faking her own kidnapping. The 25-year-old disappeared without a trace after making a chilling 911 phone call claiming that she saw a toddler wandering alone on a highway. It sent police on a wild goose chase, launching a nationwide effort to find her. That was until 48 hours later when she turned up safe at her parents' home with a wild story. Carly Russell said that she had been kidnapped and physically fought for her life, but it wasn't long before the story unraveled. Police reading this statement from her lawyer. There was no kidnapping on Thursday, July 13th, 2023. My client did not see a baby on the side of the road. My client did not leave the Hoover area when she was identified as a missing person. My client did not have any help in this incident, but this was a single act done by herself. My client was not with anyone or any hotel with anyone from the time she was missing. Police now sharing some of the damning Google searches that uh, Russell made in the days leading up to the hoax. So things like this. Do you need to pay for Amber Alert? How to take money from register without being caught? Bus tickets and the movie taken. <laughs> Russell's hoax story also fooling her very worried parents who spoke out in an emotional interview shortly after she returned home. She definitely fought for her life. There were moments when she physically had to fight for her life and there were moments when she had to mentally fight for her life. But she made it back to you. She, she made, made it back. back. Do you believe that there's an abductor still out there? Absolutely. Absolutely. Greg, in the year of our Lord, 2023, do not try to oh, fake your own kidnapping. I thought about You're it. You're going to get caught. Yeah, you know, she's no, but I, I got to say, this is not like Jesse Smollett. She wasn't out to cause some kind of racial Political, war. Political, right, right. Right? This, and I think you're not going to get a deep re revelation out of this. She just wanted to feel special. She wanted to feel loved. Don't we all? Uh, if you start at the beginning of a story like this, you got 370 million people. A lot of weird stuff goes on in this world, right? Social media and smartphones has amplified the weirdness. I have a feeling that this probably happened before in the 1950s, but it was handled privately. A girl would stay out late. She'd get mm -hmm. scared and tell her parents that she was kidnapped, and then the police would come, and then they'd be like, forget about it. Then it changed with Tawana Brawley, right? That was brought to you by the media and exploited by certain charlatans who are still around right now, often on MSNBC. It became incentivized. We have built a world, I think, a world of... of, of demonic incentives, uh, a destructive need for attention, which is now married to impact. So you no longer have people attempting suicide, but mass shootings, which are basically suicide plus. Uh, if you find no meaning in the world, infamy takes its place. And uh, we didn't think of that when we canceled Christ. Judge, should she be charged and have to pay a penalty because the, it, the police spent a lot of resources to try to find this missing toddler to try to find her? Um, there is no doubt in my mind that I would charge her. Mm -hmm. uh, when you have all of, the, uh, all of the police hours that were invested into this case, when they could have been doing other cases, cold cases, uh, and that when you have that backdrop on all those facts that indicate that, you know, she was staging this whole thing, it's pretty clear that, you know, for whatever reason she needed to do this. I spoke to the chief assistant DA in the, uh, in the DA's office, and without saying whether or not they will or will not go forward, you know, the charges are based basically filing a false report. It's a misdemeanor. There are two separate misdemeanors that can be filed. Uh, the most that they can serve is uh, 12 months on a Class A misdemeanor. But what I think is important to note here is not just the wasted man hours. There was a woman whose daughter was abducted and the, chi the child was killed. That woman led the voluntary search effort. Mm. Can you imagine the trauma that she went through because this woman needed some attention? And there were 43 children missing in Alabama today. When they say that there's a right. child found along the road, every one of those parents mm -hmm. or, or, or protectors must be thinking, it could be mine, it could be mine. So I don't have much mercy for this woman. I really don't. She should be convicted. Uh, she should have to pay restitution for the hours that were invested in this case. Sound fair, Jessica? It does to me. I obviously don't have the legal expertise in this, but I, I would just add what you've done to your parents mm. who are now have been paraded out on TV, gone on the Today Show, defending you as any parent would, right? If yeah. Cleo, God forbid, came yeah. back and told me that story, I would have the exact same reaction that that mother did. 
Um, and that's another level of twisted to all of this. Um, but you could, to, to that, that's a good uh, a point that like. Oh, thank you. What, no, because like we never follow these stories because we know they're going to fall apart. They, we always know, we, we know, we were sitting in the green room during the Smollett saying, this thing isn't going to last. This thing we knew was faked. Mm -hmm. But you can't, but then the NBC go, always incentivizes these things too early. But it is new. Uh, yeah. It is an it important is news. news story. If there are 43 missing kids and there's nothing, and maybe, you know, it's mm -hmm. all the estrogen and the mommy stuff yeah. coursing through me. When I hear about a missing child yeah. or something like that, immediately, heartstrings have been pulled so hard and you want to know more. So I don't fault. There was also money involved. Crime Stoppers offered $5,000 reward. Mm -hmm. uh, an anonymous donor kicked in $25,000 and 60 other concerned citizens donated money and made that total rise to over $63,000. Ooh, Jesse. Ooh, <laughs> figure that out. <laughs> I had some red flags from the very beginning when she blamed a white man with orange hair. Yeah. <laughs> it's called red hair. Yeah, Carrot Top was nowhere near. Right? And, you know, white people have been blaming <laughs> black people for fake crimes for quite some time. Oh, there's the two black guys over there. They, you know what? She blamed the white guy. We're even, okay? <laughs> I looked up where I-459 is in Alabama. There's a baby with a diaper. This is a freeway. There is no way a baby is walking down this highway. Then she says the orange-haired white man stumbled out of the trees to check on the baby and yeah. then brought her over a fence into the woods. Okay, he has no weapon. How is a strange white man bringing this person over <laughs> a fence anyway? And what happened to the baby? Did the white guy just leave the baby? That makes no sense. Then she says she was taken into the back of an 18-wheeler yep. truck, and she heard a female voice, but she couldn't see the female. An 18-wheeler cab is about that big. You're going to be able to see the woman in there. And then they said they tied her hands up like this, and they took pictures of her naked. Now, you can go online and you can see pictures of people naked. Why are you just going to tie someone up, take pictures, and not do anything? They, and she said they did nothing else. Yeah, they did nothing else. Okay, right. that makes no sense, all right? And then they said they didn't tie her up, actually, because they didn't want to leave compression marks on the wrist. Yeah, that's because, you know, when I kidnap people, that is the first thing I think. <laughs> I don't want to leave Don't marks. leave compression marks. Okay, the best part of it, she came home with just her right sock on, and she had $107 in it. <laughs> Well, hopefully she gets the help that yes. she needs. Yes, but yes. Also, hopefully she gets the help. That's yeah. what you meant to say. That's what Jesse. you forgot to say. Yeah. And that also that she has to there. pay for the consequence. She has to pay for these mm -hmm. things that she caused. Okay. Coming up, a self-proclaimed Debbie Downer doc is trying to ruin going to the movies. Mm. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.